Good morning everyone. Today I'll be working on my Massey Ferguson 35 tractor. It has the Perkins three-cylinder diesel engine. The other night I was taking it for a little spin and I had noticed on my injector, injection pump there's been a little bit of a fuel. It's leaving a little bit of staining on the uh, side here. So temporarily I shoved the rag in here to catch any fuel drips. Noticed this is the throttle linkage. On this shaft here, I'm getting some fuel drips. And there's also some coming out of this shaft also. Did a little research. There's a couple good videos on YouTube. I can link them below. And this doesn't look too difficult. I ordered myself an entire kit. It was only about 15 bucks. And it comes with everything you need to rebuild the entire injection pump. That's not really my goal today. My goal is to just stop the leaks. The injection pump internally seems to be working just fine, having no issues there. It's only these leaks and this gasket. So my goal today is to remove this cover, replace these four O-rings on these shafts, and replace the main gasket. And that's all I plan to do. I'll bring you along on the process. First thing we're gonna do is cut these wires. This is just mechanics wire. It keeps these two nuts from unspinning. So we're going to remove this first. Looks like we have a small cotter pin here for the throttle linkage. And for the fuel shutoff, there's a cotter pin over here. Okay, so now that's disconnected. There's a flathead screw I need to loosen here to remove this linkage. All right, I heard a spring go flying. I'm going to see if I can recover that. I'll bring you back. All right, it didn't go too far. Luckily, here it is. Looks like a little brass uh, plunger with a spring. That's inside this. And then this other piece of brass, it's concave here. It grabs onto the ball. It should be set up just like this to give some tension on that to keep this tight. So make sure you don't lose these guys. These two bolts here are holding the cover on, so it's a 3 8 so I'm going to take these off now. I'm not sure what to expect completely when I remove this cover. I'm not sure if there's going to be fuel in there. I do have a drain pan and a rag handy, so I'm not sure if any fuel is going to come off. But as a precautionary measure, I did shut off the fuel coming from the fuel tank. Okay, looks good that I put my fuel pan in the right spot to catch it. There was a little bit of fuel inside. Now in the other video I watched, they said you had to be really cautious to note where the spring is attached. I'll try to show you this later, but there's holes. It looks like mine is in the hole closest to the arm. So we're gonna see if I can get should be able to get this spring detached from this side and then be able to remove this cover completely. Let me see what I can do. This is what they're talking about here. We have this spring and there's three holes. Mine was in the back hole here closest to the linkage arm. 
So I'm gonna hook that back in there now. So I don't forget. Okay, the other thing that was noted was you wanna make sure that your fuel shut off lever here, you make sure when you put that cover back on, there's a pin on the underside that has to go into this U shape here. So I'm gonna just try not to move it and leave it where it is. Make sure that that gets in the right spot. Okay, this is where my problem is coming from. These two O-rings here, there's three grooves. There's an O-ring here, no O-ring, and then an O-ring. These, if you run your hands across them, it's perfectly flat. There's no bump out for the O-ring. That means these O-rings are just worn out. So I'm hoping that swapping these two O-rings should solve my fuel leak problem. I'm gonna get everything all cleaned up, find the corresponding correct O-ring in the bag, and get her back together. Okay, I found my four O-rings I'm gonna need out of my kit. Hoping that I don't have to go further into this pump because there's an awful lot of seals and O-rings in here. Wow, O-ring is hard as a rock. It actually just broke. It's very brittle. No wonder why it was leaking. Okay, now when I run my fingers across the shaft, I can actually feel that the O-rings protrude out past the outer, uh, diameter so I'll know that they're gonna actually make a seal now okay dust cap It doesn't need to be super tight. There is a locking washer on it. Same thing on this side. Okay, we have a new gasket that's going to go on here and we're going to get the spring back in and get it put back together spring is back in the hole came out now i need to get it back on to here
Okay, it was a little bit tricky getting that spring re-hooked up, but I was able to do it. Also, I found it difficult to line up this pin. So I was able to get it and I was able to wiggle this, shut off until it dropped down into place. So I'm gonna, before I hook all the linkages back up, I'm going to just fire up the tractor and make sure that everything's working as it should. All right, everything's back together. I did fire up the tractor. So far, I do not see any leaks. My shutoff is working and my throttle is working. It did die out because it's probably starved for fuel. So I may have to crack an injector to bleed it out. But for now, I'm going to rehook up all my linkages and make sure I put some of that uh, mechanics wire on here to prevent these nuts from backing off. All right, I have my safety wire installed. Everything is back together. I'm going to get the injectors back prime again, and I'll be ready to roll down the road. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video, guys.